Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some Mountain Bowl Aid to Bannerlord, and I bring you back at a time where we are somewhat financially recovered from this. I'm going to donate plenty of these prisoners over here to uh, this here dungeon, and we will get some some influence. And with that influence, we will be going to head and voting for ourselves ownership of a castle. So. We can spend our influence. It doesn't look like anybody's voting for themselves. Um, I'm going to play it on the uh, more casual side, and I'm going to vote. Oh, he gave it to himself. Feels bad. Well, that's fine. I didn't really care about that castle anyways. It was a castle that had just been won, and so it's not a huge loss for me. But um, I raided a village for some silver ore and uh, killed a bunch of men. Got a bunch of loot. And we're going to sell that all off. We're going to get lots of money. Any recruits here? No. So our army is pretty banged up from fighting off on looters. So we're just going to wait a couple of days and let them recover. We certainly have money in the bank, so finances is not something that I'm, I'm concerned about anymore. So we're going to just rest up and hopefully we can go join in on some battles today. I'd like to get a siege in. But in order to do that, we need to not be super weak. A matter of fact, um, if we get enough influence, we can actually raise our own army host. Hopefully, we... by tomorrow morning, we'll leave tomorrow morning. Looks like we're going to need to get some more food before we leave, though, which is fine. We have plenty of cash. All right, so let's wait on this last guy here. There we go. Let us trade for some, where are we at? Some fish and some grain. Thank you. That is enough to sustain us for two weeks. So, and we certainly will. So now we are just looking around. Now this village over here um, is the one that I raided. I didn't finish the raid, ooh. 83 men right there, I'm gonna hold off. I actually need to upgrade a lot of my guys as well. So let's do that. Get a little bit of both here, right? Upgrade those crossbows. Vlandia has some of the most impressive crossbows that you can possibly get in the game, so. Got our first couple of sergeants here. Let's get some pikemen. And some uh, swordsmen. That's a big chunk of cash to be spending, but I think it's money well spent. So we're either looking for caravans, um, looters, anything of the sort. Not villagers, they don't really have much. Caravans, I think, would be ideal. This 44 stack looks delicious, and we certainly outspeed them. Krotor, my friend, your time has come. Your goose is cooked. We are going to uh, shed some blood on this day. It should be fine. Uh, we have lots of crossbows compared to what we used to. And so I think that alone will be enough to uh, really turn the tides in our favor. So let's get you guys up here. Let's have the infantry hang out right down here and have the cavalry follow me for now. So they're going to come over that hill and just get absolutely peppered by my guys. So they don't have much cavalry. They only have three, so I'm not concerned about it. Yep, their, their guys are going to come over the hill there, and they are about to just get blasted by this, by a crossbow barrage. Watch for this one. Oh, no, come on, guys. Okay, so it looks like they're waiting. It does look like they're waiting. Hmm. I mean, we can advance, but I'd rather we didn't. Well, let's go see if we can get them to uh, charge at us, then. How's that sound? Maybe I can harass them out. Ah, yeah, they're definitely playing defensive here. They're, they even got a little ring set up. Surrounding their lords. There they go. Now they're charging. Watch the crossbow bolts flying through the sky. 
Pepper them up. Very good. Just holding off. Let the infantry charge and have the cavalry head on in as well. Hammer and anvil, baby. Hammer and anvil. Need to protect my cav, though. Or my, uh... Or... Oh, yes. They don't need me. Wow, that guy died in one hit. Alright, cool. Well, that should be about that, then. These guys are broken. Vatan just got beat up on. Oh, they killed him. They killed my footman. Look at them. These guys are getting drilled. <laughs> yes, that's what I thought. Very good. Quite the win. Quite the win. We lost one man. He was a footman, so... No major loss. Lots of influence, lots of morale. That means lots of prisoners is what that translates to in my mind. So we plundered five gold for some reason, but Krotor... You are now our vassal, or I mean our uh, our uh, prisoner here. We'll take all of the prisoners. Uh, we can go over our limit, I suppose. It's not a huge deal. Um, lots of cav, so check this out now. With those cav that we just took, that's giving us an extra 0.4 movement speed. Which is impressive. So let's also take out these looters over here, because a big 40 stack of looters is nice and juicy and a lot of experience for us so that is exactly what we wanted we'll take a few more prisoners why not looks like our squires are all starting to level up as well now i do need to be careful though because we're going to be pretty slow let's head over to this castle here Durthert wants to create an army over there in edderberg so we'll head over and go meet up with him we want to go see who is um raising this city over here though no, not the Lord's Hall. I clicked the wrong button. Dang it. I do not need to be here. I wish to go to the dungeon. To donate prisoners. So check this out. We're at 135. 180. So we just got, what is that? 45. We can certainly raise an army with, a, with some influence like that. And then use your army to siege down cities. Take the city. Use the influence that you get from that city to vote for yourself for that city. Um, let's take a look over here. What's going on? Is this a big army or is this something we can handle? Uh, 75. I think we can handle that easily enough. Let's upgrade our party first just to make sure. Make sure everybody's in tip-top shape. Right, right. Yes, pikemen sounds good. There we go. Let's go for it. Leroy Jenkins. Should have saved, but you know me, guys. I don't like to save. I like to flight. Fly by the by the seat of my pants. So let's see here. Are you guys coming down to me? They are. Let's have them. Okay. So ideally they're gonna come down this hill. So they are they are marching towards me right now. Something like this seems about right. As soon as they come over this hill crest, they will start getting pummeled by my archery. Archers. Yep, they're still coming down. They only have five archers. They're mostly melee, which is great for us. There they are. They only have a couple of calves, so they should be heading over this hill right here. Beautiful. Our crossbowmen should start loosing on them. And we shall as well, of course. Seems like there's a lot of, uh... Peasant bowmen in there. Let's have the infantry charge. Have the bowmen... Come off over here, off to the side. See if we can get some, uh... Get some carnage over there. Let's have the cavalry charge on in. We will lose some men. Uh, hopefully not in any serious capacity. Oh wow, I almost just got laid out on that. Hmm. I know, I really don't understand hitboxes, man. These hitboxes are so goofy. There we 
we go. Got the scout out. Now it's these archers are the ones that have me a little concerned. There we go. Got him. So are my infantry dead? So I lost set nine men. Jesus, Pete. Both my sergeants. So I will let them chase them down. Man. We lost a lot of infantry. Almost all of them. Maybe even all of them. Wow. Alright, cool. I'll give them a couple more seconds. See if they can either flee or get killed. I like the cheers as well. It's nice for morale, right? That's long enough for me. And we'll take them prisoner anyways. Okay. I don't care about the military, or the militias, I mean. There we go. I can be over my limit, that is no problem to me. Just like this, we're gonna take all those horses and now we have an extra half a movement speed just from having horses in our uh, inv inventory. Did not realize how strong that it was in the past. Now I definitely do. We're just gonna kill those, these looters just because we're here and there's no reason not to. My army is very, very much beaten. Like, How do we just plunder way more from them than we did from that army? Uh, that sort of thing doesn't make much sense to me, but that's fine. Yes, we're over our limit, it's fine. Yes, we're gonna take this as well. So, can we get there without running all the way around? Doesn't look like it. So let's get rid of the prisoners first. Prisoners are slowing us down significantly, right? Yeah, 0.7 movement speed a, a night we are or a day, well, at a time we're losing because of that. So let's go to the dungeon, donate all of these prisoners, all of them. So much influence now. And we're gonna head over to uh, Revolt. We actually should probably make sure we're picking up yeah, okay, it's understandable. So I don't want to fight those guys if I can avoid them. I really do need to focus on getting my army recovered. We have 11 wounded troops. There's definitely not nothing. Okay, a couple of good recruits is nice, always appreciated. So is there a tournament we can join? We are not full health, but let's join it, why not, you know? I've been practicing my combat skills so we can get a Dawn Breaker. Of course I'm the crossbow. I'm always the crossbow. I don't like being the crossbow. Oh my gosh, I keep missing apparently as well. Got hit. Oh my gosh, I just got drilled. Alright. Alright, got you. So these two crossbows are actually shooting at each other. One's shooting at me and one is shooting at the other. Alright, so this guy's coming to me for sure. Haha, <laughs> I'm being cheeky. Nice. Not bad. 1v1, baby. 1v1 me, bro. Alright, so. This is where I've been working. I've been working a lot on this, so. Wait, oh. <laughs> I say, I say, wait a minute. Whoa, yay. So you wait until they swing on you. There we go, see? You just gotta be a little quicker on your feet, that's all. Nice. What champion, huh? This guy's gonna have some serious armor. A little bit of pull arm action. Wow. 75 damage in that one hit. Okay. I didn't want that Dawnbreaker anyways. So, any recruits for me? Not a one. Let's see here. We have an incredible amount of loot to sell. So... First and foremost, we want to keep all of these guys, and matter of fact, we, we want to put the best one that we have on our guy. So, speed or maneuverability, so it's only one speed for five maneuverability, so we'll take this guy. Is this better? This is way better armor than the one we have right now, so that's wonderful. Um, we might as well 
put these on our guy as well and then give another saddle horse over here to you with just the cheapest one it's fine with me same with you cheapest one is fine okay very good so we're gonna have a lot of gear that we need to sift through as well so my helmet is 20 I can take all of this okay Paul you can have this and this and this what's my 14 and 5 so this is slightly better ooh Batanian I assume How does this guy have better boots than me? Feels bad, man. So these wrapped boots are 17, much better. 14. Wow, you have, what? How do you have lamellar shoulders? Give me that. Those are mine now. Those are much better, right? Are they not? Eh, yes. They give a bit more body armor. So Paul, you can have, or uh, Kara Slav, you can have this. And then, um, you can have that since that helmet is uh, that hat looks so dumb but it will instead go to Vatan, the newest member of the team you have these are nine these are eight 14 sounds good 12 mm. okay Looks good. I want to hold on to those guys. Any of the food that is worth keeping, we want to keep. You can sell the rest of that. So some of these weapons may be worth holding on to. Let's take a look here. So we're going to buy some hardwood. We're going to spend some money right now. Um, I am just going to go through the old, the old fashioned way to get rid of all this guys. So I'm going to get a lot of money from that. Um, mostly from, from what? clothing I assume maybe some gear but we are going to enter the smithy we're going to oh I sold the hardwood I just bought okay well that's dumb well, let me see here I would like to buy some hardwood please enter the smithy do some refining on here and then any of these ones that are going to give us the fine steel I want to get rid of those we want to use those I mean and then that will sell for significantly more. Plus, it gives you better better loot whenever you are uh, breaking it down. Look at that. Oh, baby. Just like that. Another 2.5 thousand. Whew. you love to see that. I'm actually going to take these boots as well. You can have those. Beautiful. All right, we are now officially very rich. Um, still no recruits, though. So we're going to hold off here for a day. Or two. We need to let our guys recover a bit, as well as myself. My health is quite low. But you can see how much our movement speed is boosted now. An extra 0.45 just from um, having more cab in our army. Or not more cab in our army, more cab in our inventory. Uh, so this is something a lot of people have been saying that and I wasn't sure if they meant cavalry in the army or horses in your inventory Horses in your inventory who knew So Today we is, is the day that we're going to raise an army. We certainly have a lot of money to do it with so Let's come over here Make sure we're getting rid of all this stuff um, I don't need all this junk in my inventory. I will hold on to the hardwood. It's gonna be more useful in long term don't need any of that, and don't need any of that. I think I actually never sold any of the wood, uh, the weapons anyways. So there we go. So what we're going to do here, we're going to set up shop over, like over here, somewhere at a choke point, and then we're going to click this button here, army management. So these guys are all a day and a half to two days away. It's going to cost us 100 influence. We'll have an army of about 400 strong. And we just kind of stand here and wait. It's actually... Request entry and uh, wait here. Recover our guys just a little bit. And they'll come to me. 
This foot means that they're en route. This music is impressive. I enjoy it. So around about now, they should start piling in here. We're going to take Drumir Castle back. And then maybe make our way over to Car Carbonesh. That would be great. Come on now. There's a card. That's him. There they are. Let's go, baby. This is my army now. We have 300 men strong. Hey, Krotor. Going down, buddy. See, and these are the types of fights where it's like, I would like to just auto-resolve them. Uh, but you can't because you will lose like four of your men for no reason. Let's have the Cav not. Have the archers set up shop over here. Oh, we look official with our new... With our new armor. Look at that. Woohoo, baby. Let's have the archer set up shop right here. Infantry can uh, head on in. Uh, I don't need to... Yeah, I don't even need to be in on this. So let's have you guys... I have 63 cav. Oh, those aren't all mine. They're not all mine. I was gonna say, that's crazy. Fleeing like cowards. Oh, they were just falling back. No, they're definitely fleeing. Yowzers. That's quite a loss. These poor guys just ran into a steamroller. Wonderful. Nice. None survived either. How do we get that low morale? Hmm. Probably because my guys didn't do as much, like, individually. I assume that's what that's all about. Okay. More loot to sell. Let's head on over here. Hopefully there isn't much of a, uh... Ooh. I would rather do the siege here. So they have no defenders. So we can besiege the castle. We should be able to take it quite easily. Just need to wait on our siege camp to build up. I don't, Im I don't imagine he's going to be trying to battle us over here. They're raiding this province over here. Hmm. Let's see here. So I do have one... I have a point in this. I think... Right here. And then I would like to put a point into riding. Make me strong. And we are just gonna auto resolve this one. I do not think that there's any chance that they could inflict any major casualties. So I can lose three. That's okay. I can handle that. And then, yep, yeah, that's fine. And so. There you go, we got our influence with that. Now, I will not make the same mistake twice. This is rightfully mine. So I will take this one. So that means, Chewy de Valois, or not de Valois, de uh, Vlandia, now owns a fief. And we're gonna hang out in here for a little bit. We are going to also manage our prisoners. Oh, I don't get the the benefit from that one, but we're just gonna hang out here and uh, let our let our guys sort out. I'm curious what sort of army would be coming over to Carbonet Carbonet Car Benseth, but uh, we're good. So we're just letting our army heal up. And we're looking all right. So do they have a decent? Ooh, not that many defenders. This is something we could totally handle. Let's besiege the town. Now, I am concerned about them uh, trying to run for me. I also need to be concerned about this over here. So, we're definitely going to want some siege engines here. Let's uh, actually cancel. Cancel you. Let's go with the 
battering ram first. First of all, we need to construct our siege camp. Just need to be aware of what's going on around me. Yes. Okay. Well, this is fine. This is not ideal. But, uh... This is a fight that I think we can... We can win. Uh, how are they so fast? Really? That much faster than me? No, they're not faster than me. Alright, cool. They were running from me. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're gonna have a big battle today. And this one will be a lot more crazy with a lot bigger implications than the previous one. Numbers are about dead even. With one to their their bonus. So let's work our way ahead here. We will have arrows up here. Something like this sounds about right. They do have a decent amount of calves. We need to keep an eye out for the flanks. And this, this episode is definitely going to be a little bit of a longer one. So you can see their guys coming over here. Just need to keep an eye out for the flanks. That's the big one. So, let's see if we can disrupt their cavalry flank over here. Seems like that's their... Oh, they got a lot of infantry running in there. Nice. Oh, I shot my allies horse there. Nice. Alright. So what's going on over here? Soldiers! Forward! Archers move! Move! Have the archers move up. Let them get a get some a vantage point to rain down hell on them. Nice, got a headshot on the horse, I said. <laughs> they should have an, era, an area to view them by now. Okay, I do see some arrows loosing. Okay. There we go. We're, we're starting to get the... This is all their horsemen that are getting mowed down. Alright. So let's have the infantry head down here. Have the bowmen head up here. Now they're, they're holding their charge very tightly. They will not give up the charge. They know that they don't have this. Let's let the archers lay waste to them, looks like. Just one our there we go. It's just the horsemen that are getting laid out. Doesn't look like our guys are really doing much. Okay, they're sending out the pikemen to defend. Alright, there we go. This is it. Infantry charge. Alright, so far so good. I need to be careful with these spears. Hopefully I can get some archers out of there. There we go. Okay. Very good so far. So far, so far. Hit a tree like I do. Wait, what? 73 de Oh, delivered. How much did I get hit for? I don't even know. Interesting. Wow. 
a bit of chaos going on here. It looks like a bunch of recruits are getting killed. Don't think they're my men. Let's take a look here. So, my party's only lost four men so far, so we're doing okay. What in the world? All those guys that are dying are recruits. What in the world? Yeah, I don't know who's got all the recruits that are just going in and killing themselves, but... I assume that's over here. Okay, this is their last little colonel of men here. Yeah, 69, nice. So we should be able to handle this. Just a lot of chaos flinging around. Alright, cavalry making it count. I'm trying to be conscientious of my personal losses as well. Though our army will not be able to siege after this, so it's unfortunate. We'll, we'll be able to make it work. So the horse, the crossbowmen are making a charge by the looks of it. That is not ideal. What's going on over here? Cav are just, you know, standing around and not helping. All the crossbowmen are getting attacked with melee weapons. Uh, it looks like they are handling them quite well. Hmm. Yeah, a couple of those guys getting killed are mine. Okay, very good. They're skirmishing. Cav are running around attacking random stragglers. Alright, let's just sort finish this one out. Looking good. We've lost 10. I think that's it. That's battle. Cool. Okay, so decent amount of renown and influence, but uh, sadly not going to be a whole lot for us. So we will be able to take a decent amount of prisoners. 8,000 gold plunder, so that's... I'm going to say that would be worth it. Just that alone. Yes, I will take you as a prisoner. Could release him, but uh, or all of them for that matter, but I will not because... Screw them. We will take all prisoners possible. We are over the limit. I don't care. We'll take all the loot. Also, don't care. Head up to Revolt here. We can disband this army. Uh, I'll wait until we get into some friendly territory to disband the army. Yeah, they won't head too far into friendly territory. They know that it's a death sentence. And uh, we'll probably disband this army here. So, let's go to this. Disband, yes. It's okay. Um, well, not troops, not troops. Yeah, I definitely don't want to give my troops. We'll just give a bunch of prisoners, though. That's fine. Um, three of them are special characters, so that should give me a decent amount. And now we're back to just under what we had before, so it's not a big deal. We did lose some troops. We're going to need to lick our wounds, so I'm going to do that in the off time. But I hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please show your support and leave a like. Wowzers. So this is... These are quite good. Definitely stuff we're going to be looking into. So I will get all this stuff sorted out. And in the meantime, hope you guys enjoy. Show your support. Leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And you'd like to see more Bannerlord. Also, uh, check out the Twitch. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking about the campaign so far. What you would be doing differently. And uh, all that sort of stuff is helpful. And I appreciate all the constructive criticisms. Don't forget to check out the Discord if you want to, as well as support the channel on our Patreon page. Links for those are in the description below. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to my new supporter, John Thompson, as well as my other two top supporters, Palmer and Bloodbound. Also, thank you to Jonathan Crane, Jaren Clampett, Lamb the Driver, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Zway Hander, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the series we have linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.